Hello and welcome to another one. Um, I've got another bike to show you. This is another bike from Escute, as you can see here, Escute, and it is brand new, it is in the box. And I'm gonna do a bit of an unboxing. This is the Netuno. Um, this is the upgrade to the Voyager that you've seen me undoing the unbox before. If you haven't seen that one, I'll put a link up for you because the uh, Voyager was the first one, uh, first mountain bike they sent. This is the upgrade mountain bike. Uh, this is their new one and it's only just uh, been released and just come out. So I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing for you and then I'll be doing another updated video, getting out and uh, showing you how it works. Uh, this has got a maximum speed of 15 miles an hour. It's got a 250 watt uh, Bafang Geo 20, I think it is, hub. It's got a 36 volt battery, uh, which I'll show you that when I get it out. Uh, it's good for probably about 65 miles, I reckon. So it'd be interesting to see if I can test that. And that means a lot, but a little bit more mileage than what the Voyager had. It's also got seven gears, seven Shimano gears, the same as the last bike had. So I'm just gonna check that one out. Um, it'll take a payload of 125 kilograms and it weighs 25 kilograms and yeah, there's definitely a bit of weight in that, but you don't notice it when you're riding them. As you've seen me doing riding these bikes before, uh, there's no difference in the weight. It'll have a maximum speed of about 15 miles an hour. Uh, and this bike also is going to be producing 45 Newton meters of torque. Um, compared to the other bike, which I think was 30, 35. So it's got a little bit more power in it, a little bit more torque in it. So I'm interested to see how well it works. But first of all, let's unbox it. And before I go any further, if you are interested in one of these, use the code COMPTON50 and it's on the screen and you'll get 50 pound off. How's that for a bargain? So let's just do a bit of unboxing, get it out of the box, get it put together and um, see what it looks like compared to the other one. I'll show you them both together at the end. So see you in a bit when I finish doing this. Okay, so what I will do as I go along is I'm just going to show you what's in the box. So inside the box, we have a well padded bike, really secure, doesn't seem to move anywhere. Good lot of padding around it and a nice piece of cardboard if you ever need a piece of cardboard. But yeah, well packed, nothing's moving, everything is tight and everything is solid. Uh, you will need a pair of clips to unclip the uh, cable ties and then dispose of the foam. Right, let's start digging it out. Be very careful if you're going to be using a knife. Um, I'm fully used to using knives because I use them at work. So I'm quite good with a knife, uh, but if you're not good with a knife, just be very, very careful and make sure you don't cut into anything that you're going to need. Okay, so that's that bit down. Okay, as you can see, by doing it this way, I can fold this flat and show you exactly what's inside the box. Get rid of my knife. Take the foam off. And again, I'm gonna use a knife for doing this. A pair of pliers would probably be a good idea, but I'm just gonna whop it apart with a, with, a, with a knife. So, cable ties off, big piece of foam off. More cable ties in here, so I'm gonna take them off like so. Don't cut the tires. Take that one off. Everything is bubble wrapped. As you can see, it's all wrapped up really, really well. So uh, there's no, chance of it being damaged in transit. Uh, it is free postage as well. So you'll get free postage. There's the handlebars, nice and loose. Cable ties on the wheels. We've got the wheel, which is now loose. Oh no, we've got a top one, one more. Top one, padding. And we have now have a wheel with protected hubs, so it's, not going to get damaged. They are off-road tyres as well. Let's take all the padding off as I can. Pedals. Take all the foam off. We can have a good look and see what we've got inside then. Foam, foam. And again, we've got more protection on the gears, seven speed Shimano gears. Right, now we've got the bubble wrap to take off and this time I'm just gonna be even more careful because I don't wanna be ripping the seat or damaging anything while I'm doing it. So seat off, we've got a different style seat with this bike. This has got a, a black seat and a quite a padded seat compared to the other bike which has a blue stripe on the seat, handlebar protection up here, take this off. Now this 
has a, this is, looks like the control, uh, control panel, which looks very different to the other one. Let's have a look inside here. All very similar. I did notice on the last one, you got shims in there and you can adjust the shims to height so you can get the handlebars at a certain height. Uh, this is good, this bike's good for people from 1.6 meters to two meters. So it's got a good variation on the height. This is your battery compartment with your 36 volt, 14.5 uh, I think it is, amp hour battery. Good job it's not windy today, isn't it? Otherwise this will be all over the place. All right, we've got a box of goodies. Little box of goodies there. I know what will be inside that. That'll have your uh, hand controller probably if you want to put it on the wrist controller rather than the pedal assist. Lots and lots of bits of foam. All you've got to do is attach the handlebars. I've got the experience from the last bike. So attaching the handlebars and away you go. It's supposed to have a rust-free rust free ch chain on it as well. As you can see here, it's got a, the chain just off there. So it's got a rust-free chain on it as well. And there is, in the box, a stand, a side stand. We have the light, front headlight, which is also looks like a modification with a front reflector on it. That's also cable tied on. I am intrigued to see how different this is compared to the last bike, I must admit. Right, first thing I need to do is put the wheel in and uh, the stand, so it stands up on its own while I attach all the other bits. So. It does come with a pack of tools, I'm pretty sure it does, yep. Comes with your tools as per standard, spanners and everything that you might need. A much nicer tool kit than the last one. A much, much nicer tool kit than the last one. These will look a lot more, more quality. A very big upgrade. You've got a 13 mil, a 17 mil, 15 mil, 14 mil, 8 mil, 10 mil, and you've got three Allen keys, or Allen wrenches, whatever you want to call them. And you've got a really nice, a very, actually really, really nice screwdriver. Uh, it's got a Phillips on one end and a flat on the other end. That's a really nice little tool kit. And for someone that likes playing with tools, right, we've got pedals. We've got two pedals. Again, we'll take these out, get them apart. They are metal. Yeah, metal and plastic. We've got a metal outside. I've grounded the other bike out a couple of times, so it's really good to have the metal pedals. So they're quite easy to spin on. You have a left and a right normally. So that goes in the left side. So we'll put that in, literally just screw it in. It could be a opposite thread lock, which it is. So we'll spin that in as far as it'll go. And once it's done up finger tight, I would think it's probably a 14 mil. So let's find out. It is a 15. Do that up nice and tight and get the other side. Now the left one's got a bit of a gnarly, gnarly edge to it. The right one's smooth. And chances are if you read your instructions, it will tell you all that. But like me, as I'm dyslexic, I don't read instructions. Lock that off nice and tight because it's very important that they're tight. Next thing to do, I'm going to attach the um, side stand just to stop it from falling over. Got front and rear disc brakes, which is quite nice. It's very, very well made. Now, I'll, I know these are only kind of budget bikes compared to some of the ones on the market. This retails at uh, 1,199 pounds. Um, like I say, you can get 50 pound off if you use the code Compton50. Um, now, it is a budget compared to some of the ones that are, you know, three, four, five thousand pound. But I'm going to tell you this much: it might be a little bit heavier than your standard expensive bike, but every single weld, every joint, every weld on here is really solid. I've ridden my other bike, the Voyager, over all sorts, bumps, nooks, crannies, and I have used it off-road and it hasn't deteriorated in condition at all. It's still as good as when I first got it. 
there's no rust on it or anything and it is caped in mud right so the bike is built while i was building the bike i hadn't been aware that the uh, battery or the the card had run out uh, so it stopped recording uh, so i'm going to go over a few of the things that i was talking about as i was building the bike metal pedals brilliant the stand everything you can see on here the seat is a different style seat to the last bike this has got a black seat rather than a blue seat You've got two screw holes at the front here, absolutely fantastic. I am missing them because there was nowhere, nowhere to attach a water bottle on the last one, so that's a really, really good idea. Uh, you've also got two holes at the back uh, and a hole in there for your reflector. Um, it comes with a light, like I said, it comes with a back light, so you can attach this uh, to wherever you want to. I'll probably attach it to the seat underneath there, just so it's sticking out underneath the seat. It doesn't come with any mud guards, this one, and it also doesn't come with the electric throttle as well, so they've done without that. Um, one thing I have mentioned, the headlight's a little bit better, it's got a, re a front reflector on it as well, we've got good travel. Um, it says on the front here we've got um, Forgo Zoom forks, um, they're pretty cool. There's definitely some pressure there, I haven't done them up very tight yet. Definitely some good pressure on them and they're also lockable as well. Um, I like the control panel on the front, very easy to plug in, you literally just plug in the green one and that's it, it's ready, it's on, it's working. Um, comes with the two keys which are on the front there, we've got this lovely little bell on the side which I think is fantastic. I need to set up now um, the height, the steering, make sure everything's in position. Uh, the battery, the keys are on the front here for the battery, you have to unlock the battery and take it out. Um, I will show you that because it's quite important. I'm going to take the keys off. Make a note, I always make a note of the serial number, so I'm going to take a picture of the serial number of the bike, which is on the front, just here. So it's, let's come out a little bit further. So we're taking serial number of the bike there, and then I'll take a picture of the keys with the code on them, with the serial number. So I know that these keys belong to this bike. I'm also going to take a picture of the whole bike because then it's dated for when I've got the bike and that gives me a good reference of everything. There's also a code normally on the bike. There's a code on the battery so I'm going to take a picture of that and I'll also take a picture of anything else, barcodes or any other information that's on the bike just so I know um, I've got information for it all. Okay, so that all looks good. The keys, you literally put the key in the side there, unlock the battery, like so, and it comes out. And there is a bit of weight in that battery, but it's quite good. Uh, there's a tester on the front, press the button, there is charge in it, so I should be able to just turn it on. And as I don't understand the controls, oh, it looks really cool. <laughs> it does look really cool. So I'm going to turn that off until I've had a read of the instructions. So that's it, really. That's the bike. Um, very pleased with it. Very, very pleased. It looks a lot nicer than the other bike. And it's just about to rain as well. So I've just got this finished just in time. So that's unboxing of the Escute Nettino mountain bike. Unboxing done. I'm going to set it up. I'm going to get it out and take it for a ride. And like I said, one thing you've got to do in England or Europe even is swap the front and the rear brakes over um, I'd get that done properly and professionally because you don't want to be grabbing the wrong brake if you're going downhill and you grab the front one and it's not the front one it's not going to stop you or if you grab the back one and it's the front one by mistake it's going to flip you over the handlebars so please get that changed uh, I think that's very important so thanks for watching don't forget like and subscribe tell a friend if you haven't seen me riding these bikes, um, check out the video for the Voyager. I'm going to take this on exactly the same place as I did the Voyager to see how much more power, how much torque is in this rear hub compared to the last one. And it definitely looks similar to the other one, but there's a lot of little features that are different that I quite like. Very, very impressed. Till next time, ciao for now. Thanks for watching.